हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर गौरांग प्रजापति सिविल डिपार्टमेंट एम जी टर नवसारी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ सिंगली आर सी बीम ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट एलिमेंट्री स्ट्रक्चरल डिजाइन सिक्स सेम सिविल इंजीनियरिंग सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्ट्रेस एंड डायग्राम ऑफ द सिंगली आर सी now as you can see in the figure the cross section of the beam strain diagram and stress diagram are given talking about the cross section that is small b cross capital d now as we can see in the center neutral axis is passing over here we can see now the zone above the neutral axis is known as compression zone that is this one while the zone below the compression zone is known as tension zone now talking about the strain diagram at the top of the strain diagram maximum compressive strain is produces that is 0.0035 while at the bottom maximum tensile strain will be produced that is 0.87 fy divided by es plus 0.002 and now talking about the stress diagram at the top of the stress diagram maximum compressive stress is produces that is given by 0.446 fck that we can see over here while at the bottom maximum tensile stress will be produced that is 0.87 fy okay now in the compression zone at the distance of 0.42 xu from the center compression force will be acting that is denoted by 0.36 fck pxu while at the bottom in the tension zone at the level of reinforcement tension force will be produces that is 0.87 fy ast now the vertical distance between the compression force and tension force is known as lever arm if we want to calculate its formula then it will be the small d minus 0.42 xu now these were the basic terms of the diagram that is small b width of beam small d effective depth capital d overall depth cc that is clear cover if we want to discuss the clear cover then it is over here from the say this distance from the bottom of the reinforcement to the bottom of the beam while talking about the effective depth then it will be the distance of center of the reinforcement say this is the reinforcement then from its center to the bottom of the beam now this ast indicates the amount of reinforcement provided in the beam now talking about xu that is depth of neutral axis xu max that is maximum depth of neutral axis z that is we have already discussed lever arm fck compressive strength of the concrete while fy that is yield strength of the steel now the force of compression that is indicated by c 0.36 fck bxu while t that is force of tension in the steel 0.87 fy ast now moving further some of the basic terms that is we have already discussed clear cover and effective cover clear cover in simple language we can say the distance between bottom of the reinforcement to the bottom of the beam while effective cover that is distance from center of the reinforcement to the bottom of the beam lever arm that is the vertical distance between the compression force and the tension force now some of the basic terms of the strain and stress diagram that is maximum strain at the outermost fiber in the compression that was 0.0035 while maximum strain at outermost fiber in the tension that is f5 by 1.15 es plus 0.002 maximum compressive stress in the concrete that is 0.446 fck while maximum tensile stress in the steel that is 0.87 fy now neutral axis the neutral axis is the axis which is separate compression zone and the tension zone in the cross section of the beam is known as neutral axis as we can see in the figure the center neutral axis is passing for simply supported beam the cross section above neutral axis is in compression while the cross section below neutral axis is in tension we can see in the figure now the force of compression that is c 0.36 fck bxu while force of tension in the steel that is 0.87 fy ast now comparing both the forces we will get the formula of xu that will indicate the distance of neutral axis from the top the x u is 0.87 fy ast upon 0.36 fck b now it is given in the code is456 on the page number 96 close number g1.1 a now maximum depth of neutral axis the failure of the beam may be due to the failure of concrete or failure of steel the failure due to concrete is called the brittle failure while the failure due to steel is called the ductile failure when the amount of steel in the beam is more than required for the balance action the neutral axis move towards the bottom for the balancing therefore 
tensile stress in the steel reaches its ultimate value before maximum compressive stress is reached in concrete and steel will fail by yielding thus the brittle failure of the concrete can be avoided. Therefore, the depth of neutral axis up to which the brittle failure or we can say compressive failure of the concrete can be avoided is known as maximum depth of neutral axis. Means in other, other language we can simply say the depth which avoid the brittle failure of the beam is the maximum depth of neutral axis. To avoid the brittle failure x should not be greater than x max. Therefore, a good designer ensures ultimate failure by first yielding of steel in the tension followed by the compression failure of concrete. Now the values of the x maximum as per the different grades are already given in the code on the page number 70. For Fe250 it is 0.53d, for Fe415 it is 0.48d, for Fe500 it is 0.46d. Now talking about the different beam section. There basically there are three types of section balance section, under info section and over info section. Now as you can see in the figure cross section is given alongside three sections balance section, under info and over info section. Now in the cross section of the beam critical neutral axis is passing from the center to all the three sections. Now in case of balance section the actual neutral axis and the critical neutral axis are at the same level as we can see in the first figure but in case of under info section we can notice that actual neutral axis is above than the critical neutral axis while in case of over info section actual neutral axis is below than critical neutral axis. Now talking about detail first of all balance section. Compressive strain in concrete and tensile strain in steel reaches the limiting strain value simultaneously. Means both the compression strain and tensile strain will achieve their maximum value at the same time. So both the materials say steel and concrete will fail at the same time. Conditions for the balance sections are x equals to x to max, m equals to m to limit, pt equals to pt limit. Now moment of resistance can be calculated with respect to steel or concrete that is C into Z or we can say T into Z. Now the formula of the balance section or we can say limiting section that is 0.36 x to max by D 1 minus 0.42 x to max by D whole multiplied by epsi ke BD square. It is given in the code as 456 on the page number 96 close G1.1 close G C. Talking about the second section that is under info section. Now in this case tensile strain in the steel reaches its limiting strain 0.87 Fi by ES plus 0.002 earlier to compressive strain in concrete reaches the limit limiting value of 0.035. So in simple language we can say tensile strain will achieve its maximum value before the concrete. So steel will fail before the concrete as steel is a ductile material and yields before failure such failure is called tension failure or ductile failure. As steel is ductile material it gives sufficient warning before failure hence the under info sections are preferred by the designer. Conditions for under info section x u less than x u max, m u less than m u limit, p t less than p t limit. Now about its formula, its formula can be derived by m u equals to t into z now t that is tension force 0.87 fi ast z that is d minus 0.42 x u now putting down the value of x u that is depth of neutral axis 0.87 fi ast divided by 0.36 fckb now simplifying the term 0.42 multiplied by 0.87 divided by 0.36 that will result in 1 so ultimately formula will become 0.87 fi ast in the bracket d minus fi ast upon fckb now simple now taking the d as a common from the bracket formula will ultimately become become 0.87 fi ast d in the bracket 1 minus fi ast upon fck bd it is given in the is code 456 on page number 96 close number g 1.1 b now talking about the third section that is over info section rc sections in which the limiting strain in concrete say 0 0.0035 is reached earlier than the yield strength of the steel say 0 0.87 fi divided by es plus 0 0.002 are called the over info section means in a simple language we can say that compressive strain will achieve its maximum value before steel so at failure steel is not yet yielded and concrete brush out so as the concrete is a brittle material the failure will be brittle and sudden as there is no warning of the failure in such sections, IS code recommends avoiding such kind of designs. 
conditions for the overinflow sections are x u greater than x u max, m u greater than m u limit, p t greater than p t limit. Now its formula can be achieved by m u equals to c into z. Now c is the compression force 0.36 f c k b x u and z that is levonum d minus 0.42 x u. Now first of all taking the d common from the bracket. Formula will be become 0.36 f c k b x u d in the bracket 1 minus 0.42 x u by d now multiply extra d and divide the extra d it will ultimately become 0.36 fc k b x u by d into d square 1 minus 0.42 x u by d now taking the bracket ahead 0.36 x u by d 1 minus 0.42 x u by d fc k b d square now put x u equals to x u max and m u equals to m u limit ultimately formula will become m u limit equals to 0.36 x u max by d 1 minus 0.42 x u max by d fc k b d square it is given in the code IS456 on the page number 96, close number G1.1 C. Now we have seen all three different sections, balance, under reinforce and over reinforce section. Its conditions are given in the table. Say first of all, x u equals to x u max, m u equals to m u limit, p t equals to p t limit for the balance section. For under reinforce section, x u less than x u max, m u less than m u limit, p t less than p t limit and for over info section x u greater than x u max, m u greater than m u limit, p t greater than p t limit. Now equation of moment that we have already derived the formulas are there which can directly we can get it from the code for under info section IS456 page number 96 G1.1 B and for balance and over info section the same formula will be used page number 96 G1.1 C. Now talking about the reinforcement criteria, minimum area of the reinforcement for the beam in the tension that is given by the formula AS by BD equals to 0.85 by FI. This formula is given in the code IS456, page number 4647, close number 26.5.1.1B. While talking about the maximum area of the reinforcement for the beam section in tension, AST equals to 0.04 P capital D or we can say 4 percentage of the cross section area of the beam. It is also given in the code IS456 page number 47 close number 26.5.1.1 B. Thank you.